It was January 1969. Carlos had his third encounter with the Guardian of the Other World. I really thought I had overpowered the Guardian, I said to Don Juan. You must be kidding, he said. Don Juan asked me to recount the sequence of my experience, and what particularly interested him was the hue I had seen on the Guardian's back. Don Juan sighed and seemed to be really concerned. You were lucky that color was on the Guardian's back, he said with a serious face. Had it been on the front part of its body, or worse yet, on its head, you would be dead now. You must not try to see the Guardian ever again. It's not your temperament to cross that plane. Yet I was convinced that you could go through it. But let's not talk about it anymore. This was only one of a variety of roads. I detected an unaccustomed heaviness in Don Juan's tone. What will happen to me if I try to see the Guardian again? The Guardian will take you away, he said. It will pick you up in its mouth and carry you into that plane and leave you there forever. It is obvious that the Guardian knew that it's not your temperament and warned you to stay away. How did you know the Guardian knew that? Don Juan gave me a long, steadfast look. He tried to say something, but gave up as though he was unable to find the right words. I always fall for your questions, he said, smiling. You were not really thinking when you asked me that, were you? I protested and reaffirmed that it puzzled me that the Guardian knew my temperament. Don Juan had a strange glint in his eye when he said, And you had not even mentioned anything about your temperament to the Guardian, had you? His tone was so comically serious that we both laughed. After a while, however, he said that the Guardian, being the keeper, the watchman of that world, knew many secrets that a brujo was entitled to share. That's one way a brujo gets to see, he said, but that will not be your domain, so there is no point in talking about it.